Capricorn, thanks for visiting. This is your weekly reading for April the 23rd to April the 29th. And as always, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if you would like to. And I'm just going to go straight ahead. I'm not going to ho, I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to go straight ahead with your reading for Capricorn. The first card you have, your past, is the Four of Cups. So yes, what I'm seeing in this card is being taken for granted or people expecting more from you than you can give or people not appreciating you or something like that. And I'm seeing that this is probably one specific person. Um, someone wasn't appreciating everything you did for them or something like that. And I'm just seeing this person could actually have been in a relationship situation with you. Um, and this person, yes, this is a very complaining person. This is someone who's never satisfied. And I'm seeing this person probably would have been complaining no matter what you did. You could have handed them, you know, millions and millions of dollars and a, and a chocolate cake and everything else and hundreds of roses and they still would not be satisfied with whatever it was you did for them and I'm just seeing this golden cup when I look at this golden cup that's been handed to this man in this card um, this is you you are offering them everything this is your all this is your golden cup you're offering this to them at this time but it was never enough look how disappointed they are they're not just they're not happy with anything so this is in your past I'm seeing and um, obviously this is in your past and um, yes you could have moved on from this person but I'm seeing this person still like this nothing's ever enough for this person not just with you but with everyone else as well this is the kind of attitude this person has and they can't see that other people have problems as well they're kind of sitting around saying oh I've got this bad problem this is wrong that's wrong and other people have problems too they can't drop everything and run to their aid and try and help them with everything, with all their things, because they have problems as well, but they can't see that. They can just see, oh, poor me, poor me. Oh dear, this is wrong, it's so terrible. Oh, can you help me? Can you give me this? And you try to, but it's like, you know, I'm seeing this cup again, I'm seeing this is like a bottomless cup. You just cannot fill it up. It's like it's opened at the bottom, whatever you put in, it just falls out. They just do not, you know, you can never fill this up for them. You can never be enough for them. And that's what a lot of people, I think, have seen in this person as well. And I'm also seeing they've probably lost a lot of people because of this reason, that they can never actually um, satisfy this person. The next card you have you passed is the Three of Wands. So yes, you might not be around this person anymore, I'm seeing, and um, I'm actually seeing there was an ending, they could have drifted away. Again, I'm seeing it could have been a romantic situation. I'm not seeing fights or anything like this. Um, the man on this card's kind of looking out to sea very calmly. So it could have been that in the, in the end they just drifted away or maybe you drifted from them or something like that. But it was this kind of slow drift away, this slow drifting away. And you both kind of knew this was going to happen eventually. That's what I'm seeing. But also, um, yes, even though this is in the past, they might drift back in as smoothly as they drifted out. So this person doesn't like confrontation either. That's why I'm seeing that they probably drifted out. They probably didn't want to have um, a talk with you or a fight or just to kind of say this is over or something like that. They probably just kind of slowly drifted out, you know, and to kind of, you know, a bit cowardly. That's what I'm seeing this person was. But yes, um, again, this person doesn't like confronting you and I'm seeing that they might actually come and drift, try to slowly drift back in again. If this resonates, just keep, keep your eyes open um, because when they drift back in, it will be very, very subtle. So you might not even recognize what's happening. So just be careful. Obviously, you're going to recognize them when they come along, you'll see them, but you might not realize that that's what they're doing, that they're trying to kind of come back in again. They might be very, very clever in the way that they do it. That's what I'm seeing. It might be something like you notice on your social medias that he likes or she likes or whoever this is, likes one of your pictures just a little bit. And then gradually they might start to say a little thing to you, a little funny thing to make you laugh. And then gradually, you know, it's that kind of drifting back in. The last card you have, your past, is the sun. So yes, this is a fantastic card. This is a great, I'm seeing this is about you being in a great place, being in a fantastic place. It's in the place of not caring anymore, not being stressed anymore, just not being bothered about what others think of you. Because I'm seeing that probably in your more distant past or maybe just before this time in the sun, 
I'm seeing that you're worried about your reputation for some reason. So there might have been some jealous people. This could have been in some past readings of yours, I'm seeing. Um, yes, I'm just remembering that. Um, yes, there could have been some jealous people or a jealous person trying to do something about your reputation. Maybe talk, talk um, about other people or talk to other people about you, I should say. Try and say things about you. And I think at one time you were really upset about it because your reputation means a lot to you, especially your work reputation. You, you have a very good reputation at work. And if that's messed up, it really hurts you, especially as whatever they were saying wasn't true. But I think at this time when the sun came in, you just realized, I don't care about this person. If they're spending all this time on trying to trash my reputation, they're wasting their time. And while they're wasting their time on that, they're not spending time on building themselves up. So let them have at it. I'm going to keep on building up myself, building up my reputation. People who truly know me know what I'm like, and I just don't care anymore. So that's a fantastic place, and that's where you were at that time. The first card you have here present is the lovers. So yes, this is about, this is about making choices and yes, this is about this person in the Four of Cups that might be coming back to you again. Um, just be very careful about this person. I'm seeing, um, obviously this isn't up to me, this is up to you. You might, you might change your mind. You might think that you want to come back together with them or something like that. But I am seeing, please be careful, please be careful, please be careful. I'm going to say that three times. Um, yes, this person in the Three of Wands is a drifter. They drift in and out. They're not particularly serious about anything or anyone. And they're also never satisfied. They're kind of not quite, they're not a good person to be around. Honestly, I have to say that. But yes, I'm seeing them could become, that they could be coming back to you at this time. They might try to make you feel that this is the most amazing love story in the world because I'm seeing the lovers. But again, you know, I don't want to tell you what to do, but what I'm seeing is, this is all I'll say about this card. I'm not going to say anything else. The snake is standing out to me in this card. That's what I'm seeing. Also, I'm see I know that's all I, I said, that's all I was going to say, but I'm seeing something else. The, the man in this card is looking over to the woman. The woman in this card is looking up to the angel. Do you want to look back to the other person or do you want to look up to the angel? Do you want to go backwards? Do you want to go forwards and upwards, up to the sky, up to the angel? It's up to you. Now, it sounds like I'm being manipulative here as well. I'm not. This is what I'm seeing in this card. So yes, this person might be very um, manipulative. They might say, oh, I love you so much. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize this, that, and the other thing. Be careful. The next card you have, your present, is the Ten of Wands. So yes, again, don't let this person pressure you. Look at this pressure. Look at this pressure this person's under here. He's under so much pressure. He can hardly walk. He can hardly move. This is what this person could be doing to you. Obviously, yes, I'm seeing warnings, lots and lots of warnings about them coming back into contact with you. Um, and again, of course, this is up to you, but I am seeing pressure around this situation. It might not be pressure that feels bad. It might be pressure that actually feels good. It might be, they might be trying to make you feel good by encouraging you. They might be sending you lots of gifts. They might be telling you how amazing you are. They might be trying to make you feel so good that you cannot refuse. It might be something like that. But whether it makes you feel good or bad, it's still pressure. It's still pressure. And they're not leaving this, they're not leaving it up to you to choose. They're not giving you space. That's what I'm seeing there. Um, so again, be very, very careful. And yes, I'm sorry this is specific, but I keep on seeing this person and I keep on seeing all these warnings for you to be careful of this person. The last card you have here present is the Magician. I love this card. This is about you. You have the ability. You have the ability to um, see through this person, of course, and you have the ability to... Um, to manifest something new because I'm seeing that you're preparing for something. This is what I'm seeing with this card. If you look at this table, this magician has everything out in front of him and it's like you're preparing to go for something you want. That's what I'm seeing. It's like I'm seeing all these ingredients in front, it's like you're about to you know, make it, do a recipe or cook something. It's like you have all the ingredients ready. You just have to manifest whatever this is. You have everything prepared. 
this is the time to start manifesting. This could be um, something that's business related, could be something that's work related, because I often see a lot of work and business things in your readings. You are very business and work minded. I see that. You're very strong in this area. You're a very powerful manifester. I see that. And, you know, I keep on seeing this. Um, this is your strength. Manifestation, business, work, this is where your strength is. Now, you are strong generally as well. Just be careful this person isn't trying to latch on to your strength. They are not a strong person. I can see that. They're not satisfied. The, the look, they're in the four of cups. They're not satisfied. They're drifting around. They're manipulative. They put pressure on people. If they were sure inside themselves, they wouldn't have to do all these tactics. They could just be sure of themselves, come up to you and say, would you like to get back together with me? Or even, would you like to go out somewhere? Would you like to do this? How about this, that? And you could say yes or no, and they'd be fine. They wouldn't have to try all these manipulative tactics. It's only weak people who aren't sure of themselves that have to do all these things. So again, this is another warning. Just be careful. The first card you have for your future is the Knight of Wands. I'm seeing backwards and forwards with this. So what I'm seeing here is that um, this is repetition as well. Backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. That's what I'm seeing here with this um, Knight of Wands. And this horse is, I'm seeing that because I'm seeing the horse is actually bucking. It's jumping up and down. So I'm seeing up, down, up, down. And yes, so this I'm seeing is probably about... Um, I'm seeing this is probably about a friend. This isn't about this person in the Four of Cups who's trying to manipulate you. This is about a completely different person I'm seeing. This is something you were involved with someone in the past, not in a romantic way. This is like a friend. And you could have been thinking that you were going to link up with them on another level as well as being a friend. Not a friend with benefits, but something else maybe you're going to link up business-wise with them. Maybe you had some partnership you're going to have with them in another way. Maybe you're going to help them with something. Maybe you're going to get involved with them as a friend and you know, you're going to link them to other friends or so something like that, something on top of a friendship. That's what I'm seeing that you had um, with this person. Now they opted out for some reason and they disappeared. They disappeared. But now I'm seeing at this time they're going to be coming back again. I'm seeing they're not a very um, stable person, person emotionally. That's what I'm seeing. That's why I'm seeing these, this out of control kind of bucking up and down with this. They come in and out of people's lives quite often. Now this person is, yes, again, I'm seeing they're very emotional. They're very emotionally unstable. They might come back in to apologize to you. I would say, don't be, I'm not, I'm not here to tell you whether to accept the apology or not, but I'm saying um, that this is a um, genuine apology they're going to make to you if they do do this, if this resonates, uh, this is genuine, they mean it, but they're still not going to stay around, they can't do that, they have a very unstable um, personality, they have a very unstable, um, they're very unstable emotionally, I keep on saying. They might even have some mental health problems or something like that. So I am seeing they could be seeing they could be coming back to um, apologize in some way to you. So, you know, be kind to them. They, they're very unstable. They're going through a lot of things emotionally. So yes, be kind to this person, but don't... Um, don't invest in them. Don't invest in this friendship because they're out, they're going to be out again. That's what I'm seeing. They're not going to keep on sticking around. The next card you have for your future is the Ace of Cups. So yes, again, strong emotions coming from this person. Also a cup. I'm seeing they're going to offer you um, an apology coming in. They might even be in tears. And this is because they, they are very, very emotional at this time. They're going to be very, um, yes, unstable again, very emotionally unstable. Um, be there for them, listen to what they have to say, but again, don't be too emotionally involved in this to the point where you expect them to stick around and stay with you because they're not going to do this. I keep on seeing this in this um, in your future. That's what I'm seeing. Um, the last card you have in your future is the Two of Cups. So yes, this is what I'm seeing in this. I'm seeing that, um, yes, all through this reading I'm seeing you've been under so much stress. 
you've had the four of cups you've had this annoying person who's never satisfied this person who's trying to put pressure on you this person who's trying to come back into your life you've got this thing you're trying to manifest this is something you're going to have to work on very hard because you're you're preparing for it or you were at this time in your present you could still be doing this preparation or working hard on this um you're very serious about this and you also have this friend that's coming in and out of your life you have a lot of stuff going on this week the two of cups is telling me that you have other people in your life other friends who you just feel comfortable with you don't have to worry about them pressuring you you don't have to worry about them crying on your shoulder you don't have to worry about them you know expecting anything from you find these people and be around them for a while just to get some release just to get some comfort just to feel comfortable and not stressed that's what i'm seeing there you do have these people around you so get out of all of this stuff for a while even if it's just for a short time get out of this and go and hang out with some great people who you just feel comfortable with go out you know for lunch go out for dinner go out for a movie do something to escape from this big mess that's what i'm seeing capricorn i hope this resonated um keep in mind this is a general reading so it won't always resonate but again if you like this reading please like or please subscribe or please leave a comment if you'd like to and thank you so so much for watching